Tifimo Lopez versus Isaac Cruz needs to be next since both have called each other out and both have belts at 140. Now, who would win this fight? Well, before we talk about who would win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Tifimo Lopez fought Jamin Ortiz, in which it was a very boring fight since Jamin Ortiz was just running scared. Tifimo Lopez took control of the whole entire fight and ended up taking it by decision. And still, WBO Ring Magazine. Not this, Tifimo Lopez wanted to fight Steve Claggett, in which both went back and forth, both landed some great shots, but Tifimo Lopez was way more accurate, rocked Steve Claggett in round date and Tifimo Lopez ended up taking it by decision and still WBO ring magazine now let's take a look at Isaac Cruz's latest performances in which he fought Giovanni Cabrera in which Isaac Cruz took control of the whole entire fight and completely outlanded Giovanni Cabrera in which he ended up taking it by decision after this Isaac Cruz went out to fight Rolly Romero in which Isaac Cruz rocked him in round one Byron, Cruz Cruz looking to drop Romero here in the first round Romero then brought them again in round seven Isaac Cruz then put more punishment on Rolly Romero and was the resting enough and stopped the fight in round day. Romero again launches the right hand. Oh, Look, Romero takes the shot. Still standing. Now, though Tifimo Lopez did say after his fight with Steve Claggett that he plans on going up to 147, I still believe that this fight against Pitbull Cruz is the biggest fight to make at 140 in boxing, and that is simply because of both men's fighting style on top of the fact that both men hold a belt. And to be honest, if Tifimo Lopez has no power at 140, what makes him believe that his power and his speed will increase at a much higher weight against bigger opponents like Jerron Ennis or Danny Sugas and Mario Barros? So I believe that Tifimo Lopez should stay at 140 before his dumbass gets exposed at 147 because that will be the end of Tifimo Lopez. So anyways, Tifimo Lopez is definitely one of the greatest in today's day and age but at the same time the fact that he's been dropped and the fact that he hasn't been able to stop anybody at 140 tells me that he might be in trouble against Pitbull Cruz because Pitbull Cruz is known for wanting to have a dog fight and just let it all out because he can give punches but at the same time he could take punches and the difference is that his power and explosiveness can be matched and if you look at that fight against Tefimo Lopez and Steve Claggett we've seen that Tefimo Lopez was able to outland and outperform Steve Claggett even though Steve Claggett was fighting throughout the whole entire fight with this style so you might say that Tefimo Lopez will be able to do the same against Pitbull Cruz and his style but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think Pitbull Cruz constantly and pressure timing and power will be enough for him to walk down to Fima Lopez and catch him whether it's in the middle of an exchange or whether it's when Tefima Lopez is on the back foot because Tefima Lopez has been dropped a couple of times so it's clear that all it takes is the right shot with the right amount of power and Pibble Cruz can definitely do that so I got Pibble Cruz knocking out or stopping Tefima Lopez.